We are at the Pickwick Slam, trying to catch some bass. This is a big tournament for school of the year points, and it's going to mean a lot to us for to have two good teams do really well here. It's time for the first event of the year on the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. Close to 400 of the nation's most elite anglers are in Florence, Alabama to compete on Wilson and Pickwick Lakes for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a giant. Boom! Helps cause a little bit, second keeper of the day. It's late April. Fish are spread out all across these two Tennessee River fisheries, and they're ready to bite. Nearly 200 of the top teams in all of collegiate bass fishing are on hand to compete for over $20,000 in prizes and contingencies, as well as double points to count towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. New leaders of the tournament, first bag over 20 pounds, 2087. New leaders of the tournament, 2174. Who can set themselves apart from the rest of the pack on day one and have a shot at winning this major no entry fee double points event? Find out next. Give it a boat, Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome into this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The first stop of the new year brings nearly 200 of college fishing's top teams to Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama to compete in the no entry fee Double Points Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. We're at Pickwick Lake and we're here for the Pickwick Slam. Probably nowhere else I'd rather be. Um, you know, get a little break from school, get to go practice, find some bass and fish all day tomorrow. So I'm, I'm really excited. The close to 400 angler field will be able to catch fish in a variety of ways on Pickwick and Wilson Lakes this weekend. It's late April in Alabama, so bass are set up in all three phases of the spawn across these two Tennessee River fisheries. This means anglers can spread out, fishing both shallow and deep to get quality bites. We're kind of doing a little bit of everything. We've got some fish located down the lake, uh, on the lower end of the lake, and we've got some fish offshore, some fish on beds, some fish in between fry garters and shad spawn. So there's a lot going on right now. It's kind of spread out. It's not one, one really good thing, but there's a couple couple things that you can get on so we'll see how it goes in the morning. They're in between. They're, they're doing a lot of things. The fish are spread out, really spread out right now. Kind of looking at some spawners, hopefully to get on a couple spawners tomorrow. Smallmouth and largemouth, mixed bag. It's kind of my deal tomorrow, hopefully. Smallmouth. It's just it, it's something different in Alabama. It's something you don't get to see a lot in this area and it's a special lake. It really is for this area. This weekend's event marks the second time in three years in which the Association of Collegiate Anglers has contested a major event on Pickwick Lake during the month of April. The springtime tournament offers a different playing field compared to what anglers are used to facing during the championship in late May. Smallmouth are a key player this time of year, primarily in the tail race just below Wilson Dam. Multiple 20 plus pound bags of smallmouth crossed the scales two years ago and we'll see if the anglers can duplicate that this go around. This is a big tournament for school of the year points and Auburn's in second place. This means uh, this is gonna mean a lot to us for to have two good teams do really well here. Entering this event, here's a look at the standings for the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Back-to-back -back title winner, University of Montevallo is in first with a more than 3,000 point lead over second ranked Auburn. College fishing powerhouse, Adrian College sits in third with a host of schools on their heels looking to climb inside of the top three. The Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing is the final double points event of the season before the year-end championship, placing a lot of pressure on teams to do well here this week. So we're sitting in first place right now. It feels great. You know, some of these guys, they've been fighting hard at it. And man, they've been doing good. We got some competitors on our team and they really do. They fight hard in these tournaments and it's, it's, 
amazing at how they can go out there and catch a fish at any day of the week, any time. We're sitting in second place, and you know you got to give your hats off to Montevallo. They've got a good lead, um, you, you know, but we're never out of it, you know. So we're gonna hope to absolutely have some stars align and catch them really well this week. Uh, we've been stuck in second place for uh, for the past two years, pretty much. But uh, this is definitely gonna be a big tournament. There's another one for school of the year points going on the James River right now, but. Uh, we've got a lot of good teams here, a lot of good teams at the James River, and hopefully we can pull off uh, two really good finishes and make our way up. So in school of the year, we're third right now. Um, we seem to always be top five, uh, but we can never seem to get that number one or two spot. So this year we're trying to see if we can get up there. Uh, it's it's tight between the like two through five right now, really tight. Um, so top 50 finishes are very important. We can't really afford anything below that um, or else we'll lose too much. Cause we're, there's some really good schools in the top 10 especially. Um, so everyone, can, all these guys can catch them. So it's important that we can too. The presenting sponsor of this week's event is Evolution Fishing. Evolution Fishing makes a variety of tackle storage solutions for anglers of all skill levels, fishing in a variety of different methods. So Evolution Fishing is a uh, tackle bag and tackle tray storage uh, manufacturing company. So uh, we, we make all things for, for tackle storage and trays to store all your baits in soft tackle. Evolution Fishing is supporting anglers on site this week in a variety of ways. Colt is here for the angler check-in and registration and will be on site during weigh-in for both days of tournament competition. Evolution Fishing is meeting with anglers, providing some freebies to them, and Evolution Fishing products will be featured in the prize payout for the tournament, contributing to the more than $20,000 in prizes and contingencies up for grabs. Oh, this has been a great event, um, you know, being able to get these young anglers, um, you know, partnered up with them and, and getting our products in front of them and helping grow the sport, um, you know, with these young anglers has been really great. Coming up after the break, we go out on the water and start tournament competition here on day one of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Stay tuned to see College Fishing's top anglers catch quality Pickwick and Wilson Lake bass. Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and day one coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Close to 200 of the nation's most elite teams are now out on Wilson and Pickwick Lakes for tournament competition. Let's go on the water now to join the current leaders for the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, the University of Montevallo. Hopefully third year in a row winning it. We've got uh, a huge weekend this weekend with the Pickwick Slam and then the Bassmaster James River. Um, we've got a bunch of teams at both events. So if we can do what we need to do and catch them at both places, then we're gonna put a little more distance between us and Auburn who's in second place. And then I think all that's left after that is the Red River, which you know, hopefully we can do good there. And then the final event for Collegiate Bass <coughs> at Hartwell, the National Championship. They've made it interesting this year, making it triple points. Um, we did the math and I, I think to like have it won by the time you get there, you gotta have over 7,000 point lead. So that's a little out of reach for us. I'm not sure what our lead is right now. 3,000-ish um, something. So we've got a good lead, but um, making it triple points really does make things interesting at the final tournament of the year. So it's going to come down to the wire, but we just got to do what we've done all year, go up there and have a good tournament, and uh, hopefully we can close it out. From the top ranked team in the country, we go on over now to Carson and Jake from second ranked Auburn University as they look to boat their second keeper. <laughs> that was funny. Cause a little bit, second so keeper of the day. Uh, today we're gonna fish some of these bluff ends. The shad have been spawning on it pretty heavy. There's some pre spawn and post spawn fish on it. And uh, we're gonna fish, fish these bluff ends. That's kind of our primary pattern today, is fish these. And hopefully, we can get a few good 
We've been catching largemouth and smallmouth off them, so hopefully we can get a few good one of those. Tex eating up. <laughs> I'm eating up. The second ranked team in the nation now has three keepers in the boat. Let's check in with the third ranked team in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, Adrian College. Yeah, this is a, this is a huge tournament for us because it's double points at this event and we're sitting in third right now. And it's pretty, pretty tight for the point standing, so it's gonna be a huge one for us. We have four teams here today, so Hopefully between the four of us, we can pull off two good finishes to get our points that we need for the year. Our goal today, realistically, is to get at least 14, uh, just to keep ourselves up there for tomorrow. Uh, I think if you catch 13 or 14 today, you're going to be get some, getting some good school year points. I can fry flipping. We've reached our second break in the show. On the other side, we'll continue our on the water coverage from Wilson and Pickwick Lakes in Florence, Alabama for day one of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Keep it tuned here for more. Welcome back to day one coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. We now rejoin the team of Carson and Jake from second ranked Auburn University as they look to boat their fourth keeper. Big. We had one that was over three pounds smoke it. I think that might be her. Looks like it. That fish makes number four for the team from second ranked Auburn. Carson and Jake are targeting bluff walls with spinner baits, looking to catch a bass keying in on shad. Things have gotten off to a hot start this morning for Auburn, as teams have only been on the water for roughly one hour. With just one more keeper bite, the Auburn anglers will fill out a limit and be sitting in good shape here on day one of tournament competition. Number four, she got some black lips, healthy fish. It's number five, I think. Is it number five? Count them. It is number five. Gonna need to call this one though, but that is a limit. Not complaining one bit. Limit before nine? Huh? It's nine o'clock yet? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? Yeah. Seven fifty-eight. Yeah, it's not eight. It's seven fifty-nine. So right before eight, and we got a limit in the boat. We've got uh, two decent fish. Um, three that are keepers, you know, fifteen inches. But hopefully we can. Keep catching them, you know, you can't you can't win these things unless you unless you catch some fish. So we're just gonna keep keep catching fish, hopefully, and hopefully we start to size up. Pickwick Lake is producing quality bites early on this morning. Let's check in now with the local team from here in Florence, the University of North Alabama. These two anglers, representing top 25 ranked UNA, are fishing near the area that produced the winning bag two years ago. It's coming up, dude. It's coming up. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, dude, that's a giant. Boom, baby. Oh my gosh, it came off. Oh, that's that's what I'm right talking there. about. Oh. a good one there. Five of them and then we can start culling. Along with the quality fishing on Pickwick Lake, anglers competing in this ACA no entry fee double points event this weekend are also allowed to fish on Wilson Lake. Many teams decide to fish on Wilson as they can fish their strengths and get away from the crowds. Oh uh, well, Pickwick was fishing really tough right now because they're just fishing all stages. Also, they're not pulling a whole lot of current right now, only later in the day, so it's tough to get bit in the mornings on Pickwick. And we spent 
a little bit of our practice in here and we got a lot more bites. And we're trying to just make sure we get a limit right now and get some school of the year points. And we had a few big bites here and there in this leg too, so. Small, I go. That is not the one I shook off yesterday. <laughs> They get a little bit bigger foot than that. Um, the bite started out this morning pretty good. We caught three keepers within the first hour and a half, but after the sun came up, we struggled to catch any more good fish. Kind of started the day throwing crankbaits on more of the main lake banks, and now we're switch over to flipping docks. Big one? Big key. There we go. Awesome. Good job. It's now time for our last break in the show. Coming up next, we'll highlight the host city of Florence, Alabama, as well as return to McFarland Park for day one weigh-in. Don't go away. Welcome back to Florence, Alabama and Pickwick and Wilson Lakes for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Close to 200 of college fishing's top teams have traveled to the Shoals region to fish, compete, and spend time in the outdoors. So yeah, it's always an honor to have these tournaments here in the community. Um, they mean a lot to the community. Um, you know, it's, it's a great event for the anglers and they have, have a blast, but uh, I don't know if they understand how great it is for our community and, and our community counts on events like this. Um, when they come to our area, they spend money on gas, food, lodging, and that really, um, it, it does everything for us and it means everything to us. Pickwick Lake and the Florence community have welcomed the ACA to town for close to 12 years now, making this a known destination for collegiate fishing. Each and every year, the community welcomes everyone with open arms and showcases their great hospitality. A place for every, everyone, it's diverse, um, and it's, it's truly, uh, arms are open for anyone here in the area. It's a small town, we are growing, but everyone feels like family. Back at McFarland Park, friends, family, and members of the community are gathered to watch the full field weigh in their day one catch. Good limit of fish right there. It's gonna go 1725, 1725, guys. Good bag of fish, 1589, 1589, guys. Good job. They go 1723 on a limit for y'all. Gets y'all up there inside the top 10 at the moment. Get some water on them, get your picture made. Started started off really good. We caught a three pound small mouth at, right after takeoff. And then we caught a lot of shorts, but it took all day to get a limit. We got two good ones, but we fell short of a limit. But overall, we can't complain with how it went, especially with throwing a blade. So, uh, We had a good day today. We, uh, we fished shallow pretty much all day, and uh, we caught our last keeper at 244. New leaders of the tournament, first bag over 20 pounds, 2087, Rudy and Fisher. Rudy Worley and Fisher Overton from Blue Mountain Christian University weigh in a five bass limit for 20.87 pounds. That mark is good enough for first place at the moment as it's the first limit to eclipse the 20 pound mark so far. We found some fish and we didn't really know if they would bite uh, come tournament day. And uh, you know, it was, it's been tough out there, but they, they'll bite and uh, you know, they, they're pre-spawn and post-spawn fish. So we're getting a little bit, they're moving up to spawn and coming out and then we're catching the fish that are coming up. And, you know, it's, it's a good deal. I just hope it lasts till tomorrow. A couple anglers from top rank Montevallo making their way in here. Charlie and Logan with five. Come on up, guys. Five good ones. Good limit right here. New leaders of the tournament, 2174. We're going to try the big fish real quick, and then we'll hold up the limit. I believe it was 590 on the big fish. It's a good one. Can do that as well, 601. Charlie Wright and Logan Pluger from number one ranked University of Montevallo 
take the day one lead with 21.74 pounds. Rudy Worley and Fisher Overton from Blue Mountain Christian University are in second, and with the day one weight of 19.71 pounds, Central Alabama Community College anglers Jackson Kelly and Braden Pritchard are in third. Well, uh, we don't really know what to expect today, but it ended up being pretty good. Uh, we lost a big one that would have helped us, but there's more there, so we're going to try catching them tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, overall, it was a great day uh, catching them in the grass and going to hope for the best tomorrow, so we'll see. That will conclude day one coverage of the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. On the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we'll bring you day two coverage from Wilson and Pickwick Lakes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.